as creator beings, we are artists of life. And no matter what art you're practicing, there's going to be fundamental principles or rules or laws that really help you to become a master in that art. If you're a musician, it's going to be music theory. If you're a visual artist, it's going to be the um, color theory or the principles of, of composition. But in the art of life, we have this universe, the universal spiritual laws, uh, which actually boils down to natural law. And when we have an understanding of natural law and of these universal principles that allows us to move forward and really create out of our lives a masterpiece. In this video, I'm going to introduce um, one of the seven great hermetic principles or hermetic law, which really sum up the core of kind of natural law, how things actually work spiritually. The law of correspondence is considered the second of the second, the, the, the seven hermetic principles. The first one I uploaded a video a couple weeks ago is the law of mentalism, also known as the law of all mind. You can also think of it as the law of divine oneness. And that states that there's one universal consciousness that encompasses all that there is. So in this video, I'm just going to introduce the law of correspondence with a little bit of explanation about what it is and why it's important. The principle of correspondence is an extension of the All One. It's a further clarification of the law of divine oneness, the principle of all mind. Divine consciousness pervades all as we know from that first law, and therefore the same patterns of creation appear everywhere, both in the microcosm and the macrocosm. And what my guidance says is that this is what unifies the polarities. Okay, so we have the law of one, right? And then we've got this law of correspondence, which states that within the one, the same patterns occur over and over and over again. So you've probably heard the phrase, as on earth, so in heaven, right? As on in heaven, so on earth. As above, so below. Microcosm and macrocosm, body and mind, light and dark, the same patterns and principles apply. The universe is egalitarian, okay? So no matter where you are, knowledge of these principles allows you to influence the universe, to co-create the universe, regardless of your position in it. So never think that you are too small or too lowly to affect you know, the creation. We are all creator beings as human beings. That is the, like this divine gift that we have as human beings. And so the law of correspondence helps us to understand that. Um, and one thing that my guides said, told me about the law of correspondence, that this is a key to unlocking this. They say that which seems unattainable is not as long as you maintain awareness of it and of the laws. Okay. So, the law of correspondence invites you to become a pattern thinker. And that means to think in terms of systems rather than parts, okay? To see the big picture as well as the details and to see how the details fit into the big picture. And it's also why archetypes are so powerful, okay? The archetypes can be anything from like a spirit animal to any of the angels, we can actually fulfill archetypes ourselves, but we have like the archetype of the mother or the father, um, all these powerful symbolic images. Um, they help to illustrate the patterning. They are the thought forms behind the, the patterning, right? So when we start working with archetype, it, it it's a way that works within this law of correspondence, because when we can see things happening in the archetype, um, for instance, in myth, right? Um, then we can see the patterns within ourselves that correspond to that, right? That are analogies. Okay, so the law of correspondence is also a healer's principle because it explains how wholeness works, right? Um, an individual state of health is reflected in their body, 
in their emotional state, in their beliefs, and in their energy field. Okay, all these things. And therefore, a change in any one of these things will affect all of the others. And then, of course, it's going to affect the health of the organism as a whole. True healing has got to be holistic. It must be holistic. It's, it must take all of these things into account because if you apply a treatment to any aspect of a person, it will affect all aspects of that person, right? An ailment that shows up in any aspect, right? Say in the physical body is going to be reflecting something that is out of balance in the mind, in the emotions, right? Or in the energetic field, probably all of them, right? Because it's all part of the whole they're all expressions of the whole um, but it doesn't stop there okay so remember as above so as below as within so without the state of health of an individual is reflected in their environment and vice versa and that's why when you're walking through a healthy forest you can feel the healing effect it makes you feel better and if you're in a stressful environment even if it's just visual ugliness it brings you down we can feel that right this is the law of correspondence at work and to another degree when we have a preponderance of healthy individuals this naturally creates a shift towards a healthy society right conversely a healthy society tends to create healthy individuals this is you know as without so within as above so below the reverse is also true, right? And that's why, because we are living in a very unbalanced society right now, that's why it can feel so hard to, um, you know, heal in, on any level at this time. But that's also why right now we're seeing accelerated timeline shifts happening in in the collective as well as for individuals. And if you've noticed, if you've felt that, and over the past few years that things sort of are speeding up. This is why, because more and more people are awakening. And as more and more people awaken and work on healing themselves, it's creating healing shifts in the collective, okay? And as we all know, healing isn't always a comfortable process. It can be quite painful at times. So, you know, there, there are things that are happening that maybe aren't so comfortable, but ultimately just know that it's this process of accelerated healing and more and more people awakening. This is a really amazing time to be alive and just be aware if there's anything you take away from this, it's that as you work on yourself, you are really affecting all of it is you're, you're affecting the entire universe and you're helping to bring it up okay as you clear things out of your own field as you're working on your physical health your mental health your emotional health <laughs> you know your spiritual vibration all of the stuff because of because we are all so connected right this all contributes to heal universal healing Okay, so law of correspondence, what I do to heal myself does heal the world, it heals the universe, and as the universe shifts it more and more to balance, it helps to contribute to make it easier to heal oneself. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so now. I will be up uploading videos on all the rest of the uh, hermetic principles and probably more spiritual law after that. And I have created a, a playlist for natural law. Um, I, I will place that right up here that you can uh, check that out too. Have a wonderful day and remember you were born to be free.